Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, I was just doing the following. I was taking my troops um, out of this cemetery and to the camp where they slept. And then I wanted to go back inside. <laughs> but interestingly, it's not available anymore. That's interesting. Um, probably I did everything there that I could. Um, but I'm not totally sure about it. It also doesn't show me the exclamation mark here. So, hmm. Could also be a problem with the, with the game. Yeah, let's travel there. And no. Move in this direction. There is someone on the road. Get ready. Okay. Magical anomaly is a common in the world of Galarian. So common that the use of the word anomaly itself is <laughs> a regular city dweller will encounter a chaotic manifestation of supernatural power. Oh, sorry. I should start my watch. <laughs> a supernatural um, power at least once in their lifetime. One might naturally assume that the strange sky, the ghostly fire from rifts in the ground, the rain of eyeballs, all that the world is known for, should find some purchase in the mortal mind. But even the most worldly of travelers feel uneasy at its borders. Why? Perhaps instinctively they understand that this place is not merely a magical wasteland, but a wound through which the world itself bleeds into the abyss. Or the abyss bleeds into the world. It's probably also a wound for the abyss. The commander and his army walk up the high bank of the West Selm River, where it draws near the border of the world wound. The Selm River. Where it draws near the border of... Ah, the soldiers' feet hold unbid. On the other bank rises a series of cliffs, irregular in shape to have been formed by wind and water. The sky hangs over their shape, their sharp edges and sickening bends, the shade of mercury on the horizon rising to dirty rust. As it arches above the soldiers' heads, regains its familiar azure hue. The soldiers whisper commander feels eyes upon his back. Somewhere among them, wearing simple armor and unrecognized by anyone, the ruler of Mendev is standing and watching the new commander closely. The commander gives a signal to wait and climbs to the highest point along the bank. There he decides to first look around, address the soldiers and boost their morale, set an example for the army and lead the march. Okay. Let's just look around. There is a strange movement in the sky. Black clouds twist into funnels and turn a sickly yellow. The brooding storm is on this side of the river ahead of the army. Avoiding the strange phenomenon will hardly be possible. The commander decides to... Avoiding the strange phenomenon oh, Diplomacy... Plus 14, athletics, plus 12. Let's address the soldiers first. Establishing report with his troops is yet another battle that the leader must face. Through the subtle alchemy of words, <laughs> one can win trust and raise morale, or lose faith and authority. Addressing the army on the border of the world wound, the commander seeks to establish himself as a military leader on his new battleground, and his efforts prove fruitful. The soldiers listen dutifully, smiles appearing on their faces. Someone in the ranks jokes 
that the demons are growing tired of waiting for them. The army keeps moving. Lines of soldiers step worriedly beneath the shroud of low black clouds. It's like the world wound has reached out the finger into the, into the lands of Mende. The gesture seems eerily harmless, but then the clouds come to life, shooting out howling tornadoes one and after another. The tornadoes come from all sides, from ahead, behind and right above the soldiers' heads. The power of the elements on one side of the scales, the soldiers' faith and inspiration on the other, it's plain to see which is greater. The determined army runs the gauntlet of tornadoes. The struggle lasts over half an hour, but the army's only losses are a few bags of supplies and a dozen hats whipped off into the sky. After stopping to catch their breath, the soldiers continue on. The first encounter with the world wound has ended in their favor. Gain 24 experience. Change of to morale plus 10. Yay! You're so great. Okay, there are some demon armies. Let's count the head. And let's do this before we do the army. Let's, um, can we, ah, oh, there it is, army. Ah, you have 30, hmm, let's see. We found primitive altar. Let's try this out. I mean, they are just 20 people, 15 of them are less good than our footmen and five are rather strong so let's see what will happen i don't know how this will work but we are a level one army and they are a level one army and i hope the game is not trying to kill me in this first thing what is this this is flare oh are enemies within a five, four foot burst centered on the target? Hmm. Confused for one round. Hmm. The army has engaged in battle. The enemy army is displayed on the right, the, and the crusader army is on the left. Battles are played out in turn-based mode. The turn order is displayed. Yeah, 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 okay. I understand that. During its turn, a unit can perform one of the following actions. Move and or use its melee attack. The range of the units. I think they are, we are all melee units here in this fight. Ranged attack if one is available to the unit and there are no enemies near it. Okay, uh, take up total defense, boosting its AC for one round. Use an ability if one is available to the unit. Okay. When a unit performs an attack, the damage dealt is calculated as follows. All soldiers in the attacking unit make a damage roll to determine the base damage. Mm-hmm. The damage well, all soldiers in the attacking unit make a damage roll to determine the base damage. Damage multiplier is determined according to the formula attacking units attack plus twenty-one minus targets AC times 0 0.05. Uh yeah, whatever. Okay. So normally if we do this here, let's see what happens. So if we attack them, we kill one to two persons. Let's move here.
Okay. One to three. Four to eleven. Come on. You don't have to kill me. I'm pretty sure about that. Really? Let's kill this guy. Okay, that's that. So, we lost 8 units and we replenished 8 units for with the infirmary. So we lost no one. That's good. I think. <laughs> you have defeated your first enemy army and received a number of fights finance points. You can use these finance points to hire a general for your army. This can be done by accessing the army window in the left corner of the screen. Generals can use various spells and abilities. Yeah, we did this already. Each general belongs to one of the three classes. Yeah, whatever. Generals cannot be killed. If a general's army is defeated after three days, the general can be Assigned to a new army. Well, really, general's attack and defense are added as a bonus to the. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Having defeated a band of cultists, you have you had driven the captives from Canabras, who had driven the captives from Canabras and made the ruins of Valos's gift their temporary base. The commander's army celebrates its first triumph. Fortunately, the demon worshippers have killed all the citizens, really, and gathered their belongings into a huge pile in the middle of the camp. Well, at least we found some finance points. Let's accept that. Okay. So, what's that? That's... An army consisting of quite more troops. Much more troops. Much stronger troops. Even. This is double this, the army that we saw before, plus these guys. So we don't want to fight them. What's with this army? So it's 60 flights. <laughs> they have 50 hit points, fight plus 5, they make 6 11 points damage. So they are like our footmen. They have 60 and we have 100, so if we fight, we'll fight these next. Uh, let's see, can we? Look at them. Are they also like our footmen? No. They are doing more damage than our footmen, but they are easier to kill. And they are 6 to 13, 3 to 8, and 3 to 15. Interesting. There is a level 4 army. Ooh. Okay, so let's do these guys again, and now enter here.
Let's see what we find here. Old Hot Camp Five. There is loot. I like it. So can we can we do this so we are okay we we see in the right direction okay mm -hmm. okay there is nothing down there let's see there is a rock and it's full of loot. Let's collect it. Some animals. We're finally here. Elon and Pearl must be around here somewhere, and Jenna too. If they gave her permission to leave, ah, there they are. There they are. These are her friends, aren't they? Little Dory and Elon of the Hound Heart. Where's the halfling? Greetings, Cedar, and greetings to you, Knight Commander. So Elon puts his hands behind his back and bows slightly. Then he casts an inquisitive glance at you. Seems less friendly than he was the day you met at the Defenders are. Jenna Eldori. <clears throat> Jenna puts her hands on her hips. She looks even more dashing than usual. Elon is feeling a little shy. He thought he asked for help from a couple nobodies like us. But now you've turned into the saviors of Canabras. Knights of the Fifth Crusade marked by Iomedes' blessing. And you still came to help him dig through a pile of junk. <laughs> okay. Sila frowns a little. Let's not talk about it. I assure you, I'm the same Sila. Your friend from the League of the Cart. And we came here to help you look for Elon's ring. By the way, where's Curl? This is the, this is the halfling Curl. Elon the Hound Hearts, he didn't come with us. He said an old boon was acting up. All right, my friends, since we're here, let's finish the mission quickly. I really don't feel comfortable bothering the Knight Commander with my personal problems. What does the ring look like and where should we look for it? I, I didn't realize that we were looking for a ring here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember anything because the last time I was playing this was two weeks ago probably last time I saw the ring it was with my things in my traveling chest now the camp's in total disarray I don't know how we'll ever find it the ring is made of a shiny silver metal with a deep real green tool you can't miss it um, wait first you say you don't know how to find it, that we we are not possibly find them, and then you say you can't miss it. Master Derek is not just a jeweler, he's an artist. There's no mistaking one of his creations. Okay, we gained experience just by hearing how the ring looks. A trinket worth several months pay, Elon. The rules on the surface are insane. You should give your girls fried rats like we do. You'd save yourself a lot of trouble. Okay. I don't think so. Is there something wrong, Elon? I'm ma am I making you nervous? Uh, the young knight is obviously embarrassed. I apologize. Jenna is right. Much has changed since we met in Canabras. Some things for the better, some not at all. Stops short, apparently unwilling to elaborate. All right, off we go. Well, if he's not, uh, we could 
we could always do an evil thing, like forcing him to tell us. We are the Red Commander, he has to tell us. Jenna and I will look around the northern side. We hear you when we find something, or when we give up trying. Okay. Really? We can fight the deer. Luchif, Nanyo, Siva. Wait. What's our formation? Why is Nanyo up there? She shouldn't be here. She should be with us in the back. Ooh, there is something. We found something. Is it a ring? No. We could kill the young deer. Probably they have the ring. Like pause. I am prepared. Let's try this way. Philomucus. Let's charge this thing. Oh, there is one. Sila. Attack this one. Ulchif. One. Social. Uh, attack this one. Then attack this one. Then you uh, take this one. Huh. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Probably one of these has the has the ring. Let's all attack that. That's it. Yay. Let's keep them back old. Ooh, more loot. Interesting. Let's look at the knowledge world stuff. We could try to say first. Yeah, let's do this. Probably the best idea. We might do safe game. Oh, now I did it. <clears throat> then you, that's your job. One flag of the Hound Hearts, a small but noble order could save us. Yay! We are so great. What's that? The ground is trampled and there are signs of battle everywhere. The Hound Hearts were clearly attacked by demons here. Okay. So probably there's demons still around. Probably residing inside the bad, bad deer. What's that? The tent has been cut open from the inside. The knights apparently left in a hurry. Okay, interesting. Let's loot even more. No ring. Ooh, what's that? Hat of heartening saw. Interesting. Interesting. 
What can the head of hardening song do? It's probably something for um parts. This tent is different from the rest. There's a strong burnt smell around it and a rustling sound coming from within. Really? Okay. Um Philomucus. Stay here. Siva. Stay here. Wolchith. Stay here. Let's just open it. Hmm. Brimorax. Yay. Okay, that's not really nice, is it? So let's let's take a five foot step away, shall we? And then let's just let's just kill this guy. Hmm, time's up. But let's just kill these. Yes. You're such a good pig. Let's take a five foot step to the other side. Interesting. So, Nenyo. And then let's move back in this direction. Fireballs are not welcome by me. Oh, did you kill both? In one shot? How can this be? Wait, they didn't have anything on them? Can this be? Nah. Of course they had something on them. Like, really? Long swords? Come on. You must be joking. Just a few XP's. And a lot of burnt, burnt things. You. Let's do this. Good. Okay, ah, there is another chest. Okay, 15% um, with the lockpicks, we've got a 40% chance. We could also break the lock. Let's, let's try it like this. Locked? Really? You tell me. Can't pick locks. Wait, what? Ah, interesting. <laughs> because social was um, <laughs> wasn't charged at the moment. Unlocked. Okay, fine, fine. Interesting. Let's take everything. There's channel. What an adventure, right? I wish doing your duty was always like that. Hmm. So she's not the adventurous kind. Wait, what? Interesting. Quasit, the small quasit demon emerges from the chest. Look at you angrily, screwing up its ugly little face. It's holding a shiny object in its paws. Sparkling silver ring with a large blue-green jewel. It's mine! Mine! 
Okay. Elon, look. Look at that creepy thing. What's it holding? I've seen one of those before. These small demons like to tease and bully. But it'll bolt it if it senses any real threat. Let's surround it and attack all together before it can figure out what's happening. Really? That's your plan? Mine! The closet throws its paws in the air and splashes you with beam of beams of color. You hear insolent giggling. The demon is jumping up and down, throwing the ring into the air and catching it. Mine! Mine! Okay, you're done, Jenna. Sila glances at her friend and turns to you. You're all right. They'll come around soon. Quickly start about fast. Let's catch the little rascal before it runs off with the ring. Really? We'll have to catch the stupid thing? Went in this direction. But I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Ah. Stupid thing. Really? Okay. Let's loot this one. Cross it, where are you? Come on, you stupid thing. Oh, there it is. Just saw it. Okay, can we talk to it? You're too slow. It's fun to play. Okay. Give me the ring, you scoundrel. Who's that? Before Elon manages to get the quasi, the halfling curl appears right next to it. Quite out of nowhere, he snatches the ring from the demon's paws. You mustn't get it. Elon of the Houndhearts curl? What are you? What's that? Trusting herself between Elon and Curl, Sila barely manages to absorb the blow aimed at the halfling. Elon, stop. Have you gone mad? He's using a summon spell. Why did you stop? Some lovely prey has just stepped into my trap. No, Elon Cedar, help. Damn it, I didn't sign up for this. Really? Such a coward. Get ready, we're on our own now. I mean, I fought these before. They are no match. And the Quasit is even even less intimidating to us. 
Let's sneak attack them. Really? You attack me? No, that's fine. Hmm. Whom do we kill first? Like this guy? Mm hmm. Let's take a five foot step back. Mm, yeah, that's the Quasit. Okay. Okay, Len, uh, let's kill this one first. Let's take a five foot step back. And then let's shoot at it. You won't survive me. Mm -hmm. Also, we are taking a five foot step back. Oh no, wait. We'll do the fall. We'll do this on the pig. So, Sila, um, there is this Babao, there is this Babao, and this Babao. You can attack this one a few times, so let's do this. And you, um, let's just, is this, uh, Swift action, bit of luck. Skip this to slot about fast and let's heal. <laughs> and then let's take a step back. So, Wolf if kill this guy. Thank you. Name your... Um, let's do a displacement on... You? No. Um, what's that? Heroism. It's also on one target only. Large person? Why not? Oh, you. So you are doing more damage. Pig? Kill. Uh, well, probably not. Okay. Endure this. I always forget I have to activate stuff for him. Okay, let's do a step back. And... Kill this one. Okay. Social. Yeah, let's kill him. It's just a. It's just one left. There won't be much left after we've killed him.
pig. Do the rest. Come on, no. You don't. Okay, then do the rest. Interesting. Adon, what were you doing? You nearly cut down Curl without the second fault, without the trial, without even knowing if he was responsible for all, the, all of this. He might be a victim of a uh, victim himself. Okay. What am I doing? He lured us into a trap. Kurt was the only one who knew where we were going. He knew we thought where there wouldn't be anyone at the camp besides some small harmless demons, so he set a trap. I wouldn't be surprised if his demon masters had him targeting the commander from the start. What about believing in the redemption of scoundrels? No scoffs. We barely know anything about what happened. Kurt is a good lad. He's not a spy or a murderer. Well, <laughs> it didn't look like that. Maybe they threatened him, tricked him, or even bewitched him with demonic magic. And now we'll never know because you let him escape. Better to let the thief escape than cut down an innocent. Okay, good. Elon thinks Ela was defending someone she thought was her friend. She stopped you from doing something you might regret. Or you two need to calm down. You are both right in your own way. And anyway, what's been done can't be undone. That's a very Eon way. <laughs> Lawful. So you're willing to let a traitor bring demons down on your heads just to keep your conscience clean? Get serious. Okay, yeah, no. The Aeon way is this one. We are lucky no one died in today's little brawl. But who knows where Sila's naivety may one day lead you. Do you hear me, sister? You are not just another knight. Whatever you do, may have terrible consequences. Okay. You clearly have something to say. Go ahead then. Spit it out. See, that I didn't want to say this, but I think of you as my friend, so I'm going to warn you. After what happened at the Great Garrison, you're in serious danger, and maybe not just you. You might like to ignore military hierarchy and the rules of knightly orders, but there is wisdom in them that has stood the test of time. A soldier rises from a private to an officer. A knight begins as a squire. Even Iomedes, paladins, pair their abilities gradually. But not with you and the commander. You are granted incredible powers, far surpassing seasoned paladins with experience and skill far beyond your years. You received this gift at just the right moment and saved a lot of lives across Mandev. That's a great deed that will be remembered for ages to come. But what happened next was wrong. They began to worship you. The queen gave you such vast power all while you sidestepped everything. Training, experience, hardship. This is not the first time Her Majesty has behaved rashly. And how much good has this brought Mendeth? I'm frightened by what I see. Especially by the way that you, Sila, trust people so easily and leap into adventures without looking. One day, you'll lower your sword when you should have driven the blade home just like thousands of bright-eyed youngsters will after you. Elon pauses, as if reluctant to continue, then looks you in the eye. I wanted to tell you the same thing, Commander. Okay, Lawful, you are right to an extent, Elon, but I didn't choose my lot, and I'm just trying to fulfill my duty as best as I can. Chaotic, 
So if I understand you correctly, I'm an incompetent leader who <laughs> never earned my position. <laughs> or what's the point in dwelling on things we can't change? I have this power and I'll use it as I see fit. Yeah, well, we'll stay the neutral way. Forgive my bluntness, Commander. I said it to Sila, and I'll say it again. This wasn't a reproach, but all power you've been given. It may be your undoing, and the undoing of all the Crusaders along with you. Well, that's okay, I think. Don't be afraid of what's new and unknown. We just need to bear in mind your responsibilities. Whatever was given to us, we can use it for good. Yeah, well, uh, in any case, forgive me for wasting your time and subjecting you to danger here. Now at least we know that Curl is a traitor and Jenna is a coward ready to abandon her friends when the going gets rough. I hope we'll all learn a lesson from these mistakes. As for that blasted ring, to hell with it. Jenna won't love me solely for the gifts I bring her. Elon makes no attempt to seal his disappointment. Nodding goodbye, he lowers his head and walks away. Uh, everything's become very complicated all of a sudden. Please, start about fast. Let's go back and I'd like to talk to you about it later. I have a lot to think about you. Uh, I have a lot to think about. Okay. Good. Can we find, um, wait, let's, ooh, let's get this thing on the card. Can we find Jenna and talk to her as well? No. She's really a coward. She ran even off the map. Interesting. Okay, next time we will continue here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's do some more thing. Okay, um, as I said, hopefully we'll see each other again. See you soon. Bye.